All right, y'all, let's get into the video, man. Today's video, as y'all can tell by the title, what we're going to be getting into, man, racist Karens. Make sure that you do like, comment, subscribe, as you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on this channel. DM me lit videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell that angel mama to tell that uncle Joey. Still all, let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. Karens, as we all know, are a fierce creature that shouldn't be approached in any situation. They think they are constantly right, and any other mm -hmm. opinion is just dead wrong. Right, but right. what happens if we add another type of human? who also believes they are always correct. That's right. What if we mix teens and Karens? Mm. What could go wrong? Well, I think the real question is, what could go right? To answer this, these poor kids had interactions with Karens, and the results are just cr crazy. Yeah. So let's dive in and see what these kids had to deal with. Starting us off, we've got a Karen who is simply not happy to give this kid back his frisbee. You would think the sensible thing to do would be to give it back, right? But you're going to freak when you see how she reacts. You can't touch him. Oh, hell no. Oh, she need to get her ass whooped, bro. Where your mama at? She didn't lay them hands on this. She got some nerve. I wish his ass would have decked her ass. Get off me, bro. That's wild. You got your hands on a whole child here who did nothing to you, bro, but throw his frisbee around, bro. Like, what? I never touched you, boy. I never touched you. She wild. Man, spur off on this bitch. Spur off on her ass. Imagine you've just passed your test. You and your friends are out taking trips, going through drive throughs Nothing can spoil your fun. Well, <laughs> apart from Karen. this Karen. <laughs> and this one's on a war path. And her reaction to these kids, well, you don't want to miss it. Uh, get in your car! Stop getting, don't sit on her car! Right now, you're grass. Do you understand? Your hands is grass. No. Don't be looking out for those cops. Wait, hold on. You don't want to miss it. Get in your car! Stop getting! Don't sit on her car! Right now, you're grass. Do you understand? And if you what is happening? So, don't be looking out for those cops. All right, I will. I'll be looking out for those cops. You're supposed to be sheltered in place. Go ahead, put me on social media. You're a little cop. Seriously? Huh? Seriously, I call the cops. I can't put you on. Okay. <laughs> what happened? What do they do? doesn't seem to agree. She instead has other plans. You won't want to skip this. It's, a, it's on my friend's property. Right there. It's all illegal to be in here. Get off of the tree. <laughs> it belongs to this street and this neighborhood. What? <laughs> what? Okay, first of all, you act like the child is climbing your tree on your property. She just said you are climbing a tree in the neighborhood. Like what? <laughs> it belongs to this street and this neighborhood. The tree belongs to the street in the neighborhood, so get off of it. And you sound, we don't want kids you sound crazy. You sound Why crazy. Why do you think these poles are there to help it? Because my, 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 my grandpa can go and run on it. Please get down. We're not jumping around and running on it. Oh my god. We're, we're sitting on it. I would love to see that because too many kids are inside on their technology, on their devices, their electronic devices, their iPads and stuff like that. I would love to see kids climbing trees and sitting in trees like, you know, when I was growing up, bro. I would love to see it. Well, get yeah, this lady. And this lady's so damn old, she should understand. You, fine. Go 
get your grandpa. So where do you live? Who's your parents? She bored. I can't tell That's you that. That's what it is. Oh, you can't. She bored and lonely. Probably got 12 cats. Tell me that. I can't. Okay. Cause that's my that's my personal that's my information. Oh, that's your personal information. <laughs> yeah. How'd you like it if a random stranger came up to your kid and asked them where they live? You tell my her. Kid, I have asked you nicely tell her. to come down from there. Girl, Please, get the f on. Talk to your parents. I'm not gonna tell you where I live. Then I'll ask Facts. Them when they come back. Fishing is a nice, relaxing Annoying. pastime that anyone Annoying. any age can really do anywhere they are allowed to, right? Wrong. Or wrong by this Karen's standards. She's got something to say about you standing on this bridge. And boy, is she not going to move until you've heard her. <laughs> There's no fishing on the bridge. Mm. Annoying. I've been down here many years, and I didn't grow up here, but I've been down here probably 20 years, and I've seen people fishing here forever. It's kind of dangerous when there's a catch here. Oh my god. Wow. Everyone enjoys picking the odd berry when they're fresh in the summer, right? You'd be mad not to. But this Karen had other plans. No, we're not wrecking, wrecking it. it. There's literally oh so many berries everywhere. Oh my god, we're not wrecking it! Oh, there's so many berries! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, she's psycho. <laughs> she's psychotic. <laughs> Let them to pick <laughs> their berries, <laughs> berries, bro. Like, what's the issue? It's not the bush, it's literally a Oh my god. So she owns the woods. Kick out of it. Look at her stance. So she is so confident in her Karen. -ness. Karens love to get involved in anything. Anything, and I facts. Really do mean anything. And this one is no exception. She begins to take photos and videos of these kids for really no reason at all. And her reason for this is shaky at best. But what she does next, well, you just won't believe. <laughs> they trolling her yeah, ass, as they should. What? So you're mad because they're cursing? Well, walk away, lady. You have two legs for a reason. You guys use you guys use scooters all the time. I get it. Hand over sheriff's department. Oh my god. Up next, we've got a Karen right in the space of a kid for wow. a reason that honestly I can't work out. Her threats, however, make the interaction take a whole different turn. Whoa! Whoa! I think you might get your ass whooped, ma'am. You might want to back down. Yeah, you might want to stand down on this one. You might want to stand down. Picture this. You're enjoying your time with your friends at the skate park, and a Karen comes up to you threatening to take you to juvenile court. What would you do? These kids seem to have the right idea in dealing with this carrot. I'm making a picture of you right here, right now. They better all hear it. Any profanity? No, you laugh? You mm -hmm. laugh? Any profanity comes out of any of y'all's mouths. There is a rule that says no profanity. There's a city policeman sitting right over what there. What rule? Who made that rule? Take any one of y'all to him and y'all will go to juvenile court. So she obviously thinks that these kids are her kids. You took whatever you like. 
I am. Where's this coming from? <laughs> he was cussing like a sailor. Okay, that's his business. Who are you? And he refused. <laughs> the fuck? So I called the city police and they said I can take him or any of you that can't respect it if you want to mouth off in front of a child. Because this is a city park and there's no reason to be talking like Girl, that. Girl, get the right. fuck on. Get a life. A lot of us don't act like that, though. So. Exactly. But for those of you who do and don't have a sense enough to put a cork in it when asked to be respectful, <laughs> thank you. But you should do it a whole lot harder. Tell her. Tell mom. You tattling? Mom is going to... You're going to get grounded for yeah. tattling. Mom's going to ground the hell out of you. Hey! No, the heck. Wait till mom comes to the field. No, there are enough F words coming out of his mouth that he should be ashamed <laughs> of what he said. And he said his mother didn't hear. Nor did his dad. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's crazy. Well, he's just messing no. with you. He's just messing with you. Well, I hope his parents see I have his mom's number. You want to call And him? I hope she grounds him for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Being out in the summer as a kid must be one of the best things ever. Enjoying the heat, <laughs> skating, and the late summer nights. Having that freedom to skate all around your neighborhood with your friends is unparalleled. But this Karen doesn't agree. She seems to have a whole different opinion. Like, you literally... I was literally yeah, behind you. Buddy, get the fuck wrong. Well, I was on the side there, you could have right... Guys, they get the fuck out of my way. You know what? <laughs> They're so fucking aggressive. I don't understand. Exactly. I don't understand, bro. And they will really get their ass beat. And they'll be the first ones crying and trying to call the police after they get their ass whooped after they was antagonizing you. But hey, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Have you guys ever encountered a Karen? And if you have, what was the craziest Karen experience that you have ever encountered? All right. I love you guys. Make sure that you do give this video a like, a comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on this channel. DM me late videos. Or DM me live videos to react to a telephone to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey still all. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.